Yes, if you want to walk yourself out there. Okay, here's where they're gonna get married at. Here in the big old field. Nice place. Place is called uh, some farms. 
I guess I'll let him look fine when I was doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, buddy, uh, John Cook is going to try to come with me. Mm-hmm. And another job. Job. Don't get in the tank. Get that player. Get the tank. He does about everything. Old country music. The day's country music. Happy birthday. It's your birthday today. <laughs> yeah, doing a wedding today, y'all. We're going to get married right here in the field, then we're going to go down there and boogie woogie. Mary Johnson's going to play a few songs. Hello. Hello, about a head. Hey, hey y'all. Hi, on Facebook. If you ain't never heard Josh play, where well, well, you see his name at or in the paper, go see him. He's good. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. My daughter come home one night. She said, Daddy, she said, Boy, I heard a guy from me out of the door. I said, so, Who is it? He said, Tell me it was you. I said, Oh, yeah. I don't know if you know Amy. Amy, girl. I know Amy, yeah. Do you know Amy? Yeah. But, uh, she loves good country music. She's a great, great, great. Yeah, she just had a dog about it. Oh, bless her heart. 24 years old. Yeah, that's very rare. Are they doing anything? What are they doing? Oh, no, just, everybody, everybody has a dog about it. Rob's still doing, got everything. In mind. Yeah, she's, she's doing better, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. said when she huh? walked in. I like that. All right, go right here, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, they were there. 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 This is a beautiful place. It's down here on uh, Bethany Church Road, if y'all know where that's at. If you come from Anderson, you go down Broadway Lake, cross over the lake there, it's a spillway. Keep forgetting it. And you cross over 413. And I think that's, that's Rice Cemetery Church Road. You continue south on that. And you come down to the church on the right, take a right. Uh, Bethany Church Road is down here on the right. It's about a half a mile back down there to the uh, reception hall. And a lot of these people walk. But I got me a ride. I didn't buggy down there. I'm going to get my one back. Pretty day. Bride maid and the ushers. I'm gonna try to hold this camera, y'all, for a little bit because I'm videotaping it myself. I might have to put it down for a minute. To do some focusing. So if I do that, y'all just hang in there. Don't, don't hang up. I'll be right back. Here they come.
Look at that. Oh, that looks sweet. Look at this little pink dress. Here comes the bride. Will you please rise to the bride? One word, that's all you see. Something in your voice called me to turn my head. Your smile. Just captured me. You were in my future, far as I could see. And I don't know how it happened, but it happened still. You asked me if I love you, if I always will. Will you had me from the Lord? And I felt love start to grow The moment that I looked into your eyes You want me, it was over From the start, you completely stole my heart And now you won't let go I never even had a chance, you know had me from hello. Dearly beloved, on behalf of Austin and Courtney, I would like to welcome each and every one of you here today. We are gathered here in the sight of God and these witnesses to unite Austin and Courtney in holy matrimony. The followers of Christ, they believe that God created marriage. In Genesis it says, it's not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable to him. Austin and Courtney, as you prepare to take these vows, give careful thought and prayer. Or as you make them, you are making an exclusive commitment one to the other for as long as you may live. Your love for each other should never be diminished by difficult circumstances. And it is to endure until death parts you. As God's children, your marriage is strengthened by your obedience to your Heavenly Father and His Word. As you let God be in control of your marriage, He will cause your home to be a place of joy and a testimony to the world. We're going to open this ceremony with prayer. I will say the first prayer, and Austin is going to say the second prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, Love has been your richest and greatest gift to the world. Love between a man and a woman, which matures into marriage, is one of your most beautiful types of love. Thank you, God, for the beautiful bond of love that exists between Austin and Courtney. Thank you for this wedding ceremony with family, friends, and loved ones. We are grateful for your presence with us here today and for your divine blessing on this holy event, the marriage day of Austin and Courtney. Today we celebrate that love. May your blessing be on this wedding service. Protect, guide, and bless Austin and Courtney in their marriage. Surround them and us with your love now and always. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. You have fulfilled the desire of our hearts to be together in this life. We pray that your blessing will always rest upon our home, that joy, peace, and to be content with each other would dwell within us as we live together in unity, and that all who enter our home may experience the strength of your love. Father, help us to follow and serve you with an ever-growing commitment because of our union. Guide us into greater love and sacrifice as we care for each other's needs. Knowing you will care for us, may we always be as kindly aware of your presence as we sense it today on our wedding day. And may our devotion in marriage be a radiant reflection of your love for us. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. All right, Jason, you may be seated.
doubly blessed is the couple which comes to the marriage altar with the approval and the blessing of families and friends. Who has the honor of presenting this woman to this man for marriage? Her mother and I. Austin, Courtney, let me charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be found in mutual consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, and affection. Austin, it is your duty to love Courtney as yourself, provide tender leadership, and protect her from danger. Courtney, it is your duty to treat Austin with respect, <coughs> support him, create a ha healthy and happy home, it is the duty of each of you to find the greatest joy in the company of the others. To remember that in both interest and affection, you are to be the one, you are to be one and in undivided. Also remember that you don't walk this path alone. Don't be afraid to reach out to others when together you face difficulty. Other hands are there, friends, family, and the church. To accept an outreach hand is not an admission of failure, but an act of faith. For behind us, underneath us, around us, are the outstretched arms of our Lord and Savior. It is into His hand, the hands of God and Jesus Christ, that above all else we commit this union of husband and wife. Austin and Courtney, you have made a very serious and important decision in choosing to marry each other today. You are entering into a sacred covenant as life partners in God. The quality of your marriage will reflect what you put into nurturing this relationship. You have the opportunity to go forward from this day to create a faithful, kind, and tender relationship. We bless you this day. It's up to you to keep the blessings flowing each and every day of your lives together. We wish for you the wisdom, compassion, and consistency to create a peaceful sanctuary in which you can both grow in love. Austin? Do you understand and accept this responsibility? And do you promise to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? I do. Courtney, do you understand and accept this responsibility? And do you promise to do your very best each day to create a loving, healthy, and happy marriage? I do. Austin, do you take Courtney to be your wedded wife? And in the presence of these witnesses, do you vow that you will do everything in your power to make your love for her a growing part of your life? Will you continue to strengthen it from day to day and week to week with your best resources? Will you stand by her in sickness or in health, in poverty or in wealth? Will you shun all others and keep yourself with her alone as you both shall live? I will. Courtney, do you take Austin to be your wedded husband and in the presence of these witnesses, do you vow that you will do everything in your power to make your love for him a growing part of your life? Will you continue to strengthen it from day to day and week to week with your best resources? Will you stand by him in sickness or in health, in poverty or in wealth? Or will you shun all others and give yourself to him alone as long as you both shall live? I will. You turn and face each other. Austin, I want you to repeat after me. I, Austin. I, Austin. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you. I pledge you. My love and faithfulness. My love and faithfulness. Courtney, repeat after me. I, Courtney. I, Courtney. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for, for worse. Better, for better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you my love and faithfulness. I pledge you my love and faithfulness. Christian marriage is more than a contract. It's a covenant relationship. For this reason, we see symbols of the covenant God made with Abraham. While the wedding ring is an outward symbol of the couple's inward bond, illustrating with an unending circle the eternal quality of love, it signifies so much more 
in the light of the blood covenant. A ring was used as a seal of authority. When pressed into hot wax, the impression of the ring left an official seal on legal documents. Therefore, when the couple wears a wedding ring, they demonstrate their submission to God's authority over their marriage. The couple recognizes that God brought them together and that he is involved in every part of their covenant relationship. A ring also represents resources. When the couple exchanges wedding rings, it symbolizes the giving of all their resources, their wealth, possessions, talents, and emotions to the other in the marriage. In the blood covenant, the two parties exchange belts, which form a circle when worn. Thus, the exchanging of the rings is another sign of their covenant relationship. 